Fortnite Chapter 6 Season 3 is here. And as usual, with every new update, the performance seems to be bad. But I've got you covered. In this video, I'll show you how to get the best possible performance on both desktops and laptops. We'll go over the best in-game settings, how to prevent FPS drops, and key windows optimizations. By the end of this guide, you'll see a major FPS boost, lower latency, and ideally never need to watch another Fortnite optimization video again. Alright, let's optimize the Fortnite install options. Open the Epic Games Launcher, then go to Library, then hit the three dots next to Fortnite and click Options. These are launch options in Fortnite that you can choose to have installed. Uncheck the Save the World if you don't play it. Uncheck High Resolution Textures to save space and improve FPS. They don't really make a difference in your game, so uninstall them. Check the box for pre-download streamed assets. What this does is downloads all cosmetics that would normally be streamed when you encounter them in-game. Enable this to prevent FPS stutters and ping fluctuations in-game. Now you can apply the options and then it will start uninstalling the files. Before we hop into Fortnite, make sure that your GPU drivers are updated as even Epic Games themselves said update your drivers if you're experiencing performance issues. Moving on, let's optimize your Fortnite settings for the last time. Starting off video with your video settings. For window mode, I recommend using full screen for the lowest latency. However, if you have multiple monitors, you may want to stick to windowed full screen since you can tab out quicker. For resolution, use your monitor's native resolution. The next setting is VSync. To not waste your time, turn it off. Please don't use VSync in Fortnite. For the frame rate limit, cap it at your monitor's refresh rate. But avoid the in-game limiter. Use MSI Afterburner instead. Make sure to install Riva Tuner alongside it. Once installed, in MSI Afterburner, Click Settings, enable Start with Windows, and Start Minimized. Do the same things in Riva Tuner and enable Start with Windows right here. Set your frame rate limit in Riva Tuner and make sure Fortnite's in game FPS limit is set to unlimited if using Riva Tuner. Next is Rendering Mode. I recommend Performance Mode because it provides you the best performance and best visibility. All these settings under graphics have absolutely no impact on your performance, so it is all personal preference. What can make an impact is your graphics quality settings. For those of you who are on laptops or budget PCs, you can try decreasing your 3D resolution to get more FPS, but I wouldn't set it too low as the game becomes unplayable. View distance is personal preference. Most use near for better performance, but Epic helps to see items far away. When it comes to textures, I highly recommend you use low textures. The meshes setting is also up to you, but keep in mind that high meshes does give you less performance. But it's not just that, there's also a debris animation difference too, which is much cleaner on low. That's why most pros use low meshes, it provides better visibility and performance. And of course, show FPS. Turn it on and report performance stats to off as these can cause performance hits. For NVIDIA users, this next step is important. There's a hidden setting that can cut milliseconds off your input delay. To do this, switch the game to DX11. Once you're in, go back to the bottom of the settings and enable NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency and set it to on plus boost to drastically decrease input delay. One more thing, go to Game Settings. The fourth tab at the top scroll down to replay settings and turn them all off epic games states that recording plays reduces performance and takes up hard drive space once you're done with this you can apply the changes and then switch back to performance mode that's it for the fortnite settings now let's get into some essential window optimizations starting off search for settings down to gaming game bar and turn this off Game bar consumes a lot of memory in the background, so disabling it will help increase your performance. However, this doesn't fully disable it. To fully disable game bar, run Windows PowerShell as admin and paste in the command I have in the description. Go back to the gaming settings and make sure you have the game mode on as this turns off processes in the background while playing. Underneath that, go into graphics and enable optimizations for windowed games. This will help reduce input latency when using windowed mode in Fortnite. Also, under advanced graphics settings, enable hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. 
To reduce system latency and improve performance basically just puts more work onto the GPU instead of the CPU. After that, click browse. Find your Fortnite game client and select the Win64 shipping.exe file, click add. Now find Fortnite in the list and set GPU preference to high performance. This ensures your GPU is prioritized over integrated graphics. Next, we'll disable memory integrity. Just search core isolation settings and make sure memory integrity is off. Your device may be vulnerable, but turning it off made my FPS much more consistent. Even Microsoft acknowledges that this security feature can slow down your PC. Next up, if you didn't know, you may have apps running in the background while playing Fortnite. On the bottom right hand side of your taskbar, click on the system tray arrow. Now, go ahead and close all apps you don't need open while playing Fortnite by right clicking on these applications and selecting exit. Open settings, apps, startup. This is the list of all applications that open up when you boot your PC which can cause Windows to take longer to load and even affect performance in general. So disable apps you don't need or boot. Next up is changing your power plan. Press the Windows key and search edit power plan. When this window opens, click on change advanced power settings. A new window will pop up. By default, it will be set to balanced, but you should change this to high performance or ultimate performance. This uses more of your PC's power and results in an FPS boost. Click apply and OK. If you don't have ultimate performance, open CMD as an administrator and paste in the command I have in the description. This will enable the ultimate power plan. Now let's move on to some GPU optimizations. If you use Discord while playing, make sure that hardware acceleration is turned off. You can find this setting in the advanced tab within the settings menu. If you want to overclock your NVIDIA GPU, you need to download the NVIDIA app first. In the app, you'll go to the system section. Inside there, under the performance section, you'll see the automatic overclock feature that allows you to overclock your GPU in one single click. NVIDIA states that once you enable it, they'll perform a scan to test your graphics card's capabilities over the course of 10 to 20 minutes. They recommend that you leave your PC idle while this is performed, with minimal risk too, as NVIDIA states that automatic tuning won't damage your GPU. If this helped boost your FPS, drop a like and consider subscribing for more Fortnite guides and I'll see you in the next one.